Jada, I love you. G.I. J2, can't wait to see you. <laughs> that was a nice one. Oh, we're going to... Lou Smith just smacked the shit out of me. In my wife's name, I'm your f***ing mouth. Welcome to the U Films 2022 Oscars Rundown Slash Review. I'm Mike. And I'm George. And today we're going to be covering Best Picture and Best Director. We're also going to be covering the situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock. If you haven't heard about it, we will inform you about it in the end. So first up, we're going to be talking about Best Director. I'll leave it to you, Josh, because obviously Jane Campion with Power of the Dog won Best Director and... Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? I think she's a great director. I think she created a fantastic film. Director yeah. directed very well. Mm -hmm. I think the idea was fantastic. Yeah. I think like, all around is a great film. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd say I completely, like, I just agree with that. Because, like, there's no other film, like, on the... There was no other director, really, that, like, really stood out like Jane Campion did. I really believe, like, out of everyone, she sort of push the level a bit and that's all got her Oscar in my opinion. And yeah. then anything about Yeah, Power of the Dog really just showed that for me. Honestly. What about Ken's Banner with Belfast? Um, close pick as well. Honestly like all of them were like really, really close picks. Mm -hmm. Even like West Side Story, I'm not really a fan of musicals but it was a really good musical. I didn't it. really enjoy watching that. Hamaguchi's like okay. drive my car, yeah. Yeah, I think that was a great film. Yeah, I think, to be I think it deserved. It, yeah, it was a, It was a great film, but like it deserved it a national feature film, but I don't know if Hamaguchi deserves best director for that. In my opinion, personally, I don't really think he was on the same level yeah. as Power of the Dog. Oh, yeah, in my opinion, so. yeah. Uh, what about Spielberg? What are your opinions on Spielberg's West Side Story and how he directed that? West Side Story, I think it was a fantastic film. I think yeah. he's a great director, mm -hmm. one of the greatest. Yeah. Uh, I think he definitely deserves to be on this roster for another year. Yeah, obviously. Uh, obviously he didn't win, but mm -hmm. we are still great. Yeah, so... Yeah. I'd, say, I'd say he easily was a close second in that. Yeah, 100%. Hey. I was expecting Spielberg or Jane Campion to win that. Uh, there was literally like no other pick for me personally to win that. <clears throat> but everyone else made absolutely amazing films. I enjoy watching all of them. Yeah. Should we go on to the next up here? Let's do it. Yeah. Next up is Best Picture. I start off with the winner, which was Coda, and personally I did not expect that at all. I was expecting like a Don't Look Up or maybe a West Side Story. Or maybe a power of the dog. Like they are really, really solid films. I'm really surprised that like none of them got picked for that. Yeah, especially Don't Look Up. Don't Look yeah. Up is a good, great, great film. Like it's amazing. Got like a lot of praise in that. Like yeah. from the entirety to the run up of like to the entire build up of the Oscars, I really believe that like Don't Look Up was gonna win Best Picture, but it it just didn't. I know. Quarter one, and I was just like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> that was so great though. Yeah, it was a really, really good film. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to put Coda on in any, any way, shape or form. It was a really, really good, great film. Enjoyed watching that a lot. And the... There was a lot of aspects where I just look at it and be like, yeah, I understand why they've done that, yeah. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, there's like... There's that with the other films as well. Obviously, oh. like West Side Story and that, there was... Great production design all over the board. It was just a great musical, and then with Don't Look Up, obviously the VFX was great, the, the, the all of the visuals and that were amazing. Like, yeah. I'm just really surprised that didn't get picked, to be honest. Like, it just it baffles my brain how Don't Look Up did not get picked, but I understand why Coda did get picked. That's all I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't Look Up was great, though. Yeah. Great. Everything. Opinions on how that went, and who do you think should have won? I think Don't Look Up should have won. Yeah. In my opinion, it's a great film. It's got praise around the world. It's got amazing actors, Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. for one, Jennifer Lawrence, 
you know, amazing actors. I'm surprised Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't get like nominated for Best Supporting Actor, to be fair. Yeah, same with I'm nice. really surprised about that. We'll get on to that a different day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Right. And finally, we'll be talking about the controversy between Will Smith and Chris Rock. I'll leave it to you, Josh. Okay, so basically, Will Smith was in the audience with his wife, Jada Pinkett, yeah. and Chris Rock was on stage. And basically, what has happened was Chris Rock made a, uh, a little joke. A cheap joke, yeah. A cheap joke to Jada. And basically, she didn't take it very well. She did not take that one well <laughs> at all. And Will Smith decided it would be a great idea to, to go up on stage and smack Chris Rock in the face. And uh, <laughs> overall, I don't think it was a great idea. We do not, we do not like advocate for we slapping do. people we in do the face, especially violence. in front of a global audience. Mm-hmm. So Josh, why do you think he's like done this? Well, I don't know, it could be a lot of things really. He could have had a little bit to drink. He could have wanted to just protect mm-hmm. his wife from being... I, I really do believe it was like some sort of like protection issues and all that, especially since mm-hmm. like the controversy of like Jada cheating on Will Smith. Yeah. Obviously, that must have affected him, like, affected him like massively with his actions and that. And I do believe that influenced his decision. A lot of people are saying it's fake. A lot of people are saying like, "Oh yeah, the slap didn't really connect. It was sort of like a bit played off." Yeah. Personally, I watched it from different angles. I think it looks completely real, and this is for me further backed up with the reaction from Chris Rock to. Will Smith, obviously Will Smith was very, you could, you could tell he was angry, but it's hard to tell with an actor because he is an Oscar winning actor. Yeah. <laughs> so it's hard to tell if he's actually being serious or not. Obviously, like, yeah. these sort of things happen to the Oscars all the time. And it's hard to tell like a real from a fake, to be honest. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was fake, but at the same time, I'm 100%, uh, 90% sure it is real. But he was also caught talking to his so it could be for the pussy, so. But, mm. same could time, definitely could be. Could have just. Could have just been. Done it, and then instantly regretted it. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if that would actually like affect his relationship with Chris Rock and himself, but I wonder how they're like handling their sort of friendship now. Because obviously, when, when you saw like Will Smith walking up to Chris Rock, Chris Rock seemed like, oh, he's just gonna. He's probably just gonna give me a few little wolf taps and then yeah. just walk off laughing. Well, no, he probably like, slapped him, and I was like, whoa! I don't know. <laughs> I was I saw it, I, yeah, no, I saw it, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that didn't just happen, did it? No. I thought it was like fake a bit, and then I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's probably fake. And then when he sat down, and he started like swearing and that, and probably did. Cursing, I was like, you don't do that, you have to. No, no, no. <laughs> so I was like, this, is a, this could be a bit serious. Yeah. I felt like a full fat was going to break those two guys. Thankfully, nothing like that actually happened, so. Yeah, yeah it was great. Right. Got anything else to say about this, Josh? No, I think that's it. Yeah. And anything about the review? Anything that you'd like to like, add or anything? Any like, factual information that you like to add? Um, I could also add the fact that Billy Eilish won an Oscar, and I think that she deserved it greatly because she's quite young and she made one of the best soundtracks to a film this year. Yeah, but we'll get on to that a different day. Thank you for watching the U Films 2022 Oscars Review slash Rundown. I've been Martin. And I've been Josh. Thank you for watching. See you later.